Hi, I'm Bob Flisser, and I want to show you how easy it is to include built-in user interface screens of your mobile devices in an Adobe XD project. Now, I've just started up XD, and you can see over here in the welcome screen are already these UI kits, so I could just click one of those and go right into it. But what if you want to use one of these UI kit screens in a project that's already under construction, that is not a new one? So let's go and create a brand new one. So over here, it says start a new design. I'll click this one here for iPhone 6. So I have a brand new project. And first thing I'll do is just give a name to this artboard. So I'll just double click that up there and I'll call this UI screen. So what I do is this, go up to the file menu, go over here to open UI kit. And you see, just like what you saw on the welcome screen, we have UI kits for Google and Windows and iOS. And I'll choose iOS, of course, because this is an iPhone 6 screen. And you see what's happening. Up here, you see this says Untitled. This is just another window, and I can switch back and forth between this window and my project window. And one of my favorite shortcuts is Command Accent Mark. Just switch back and forth, and that works with just about any application. The accent mark above the tab key and to the left of the number one. So what I want to do is include a UI screen for sharing. And you see over here we have sharing, and you see we have all these others as well. Now these are not images, these are actual objects. So you can select individual ones. So I can click any of these objects and I can copy and paste. So what I wanna do is a marquee select all of these items here on the share screen. And then I'll copy to the clipboard, press Command C. I don't need this window anymore, so I'll close it. Could click the button or Command W, whatever you prefer. And now all I have to do is paste. And you see it gets pasted right in. We're not quite done yet. First of all, this looks like a real screen. Now, because it's a prototype, you see you have kind of generic things like just you know name in here with AirDrop. What I want to do with this UI screen is let's say the app that we're creating, the prototype we're creating, you have your own custom icon that you want to share. So what I'll do is I'll remove iTunes here. I'll just select that icon there and delete it. And we have the gray background. I'm going to leave that because I want to use that for sizing. Now, when I select this, by the way, you notice that we've got these little handles here and that's for the repeating grid, but we're not going to do that right now. So I'm just going to make sure everything is deselected and I'm going to go and import an icon image. So I'll go up to the file menu, choose import. You see there's the shortcut command shift I. And here on my desktop, I have this app icon. So I'll just double click it. It's a little too big, so let's shrink it. And by the way, there's no way you can tell, of course, but I'm not holding down the shift key. Since this is an imported image, I can resize it without having to hold the shift key down to keep it in proportion. I'm not gonna get it exact, and I'll show you why, because let's zoom in here. And you notice these little four dots on the insides of the sizing handles. If you're familiar with Adobe Illustrator, you'll know what these are. These are to give this image rounded corners. So I'll hold these down. It's not perfect, of course, because this is kind of a crop. But again, this is a prototype. And I'll bring it right over there so it's the correct size. And instead of iTunes Store, I'll select it, double click it or double tap it, and then double tap it again. And now I can give it a name like my app. And then I'll just command zero and zoom out. So that's one of the ways that you can rapidly build realistic looking prototypes using Adobe XD.